Tim. Hi, Live Good family. Wave to me. Hi, everybody. Oh, my goodness. This is so exciting. Tim, I want to thank you for going first. I want to thank you for choosing excellence because your choice inspires the rest of us to choose excellence. I want to thank Johnny Demos for sharing Live Good with me 93 days ago. Thank you. I want to I want to thank my husband for being the best person I've ever recruited and the hottest. He is the smartest and the hottest. And I want to thank um, our team, Go Givers, and Trevor. Thank you. Okay, buckle up, Buttercups. Buckle up, everyone. Get your notebooks out. Um, I want to make sure that I'm I'm speaking to the right crowd here. So open up your chat room. Awesome hope. Open up your chat room and let me know. I've got two versions of this talk. One is I can go slow and give you like half the info. Number two is I can be a fire hose of awesomeness and you have to listen twice as fast. Which one do you want? Do you want the slow version or two? You want two. Okay. Okay. Here we go. All right. We're going to cover a lot. We're going to cover how today on August 26th, you can look back and you can say August 26th was the day that I became unstoppable in Live Good. It's not hype. I'm going to show you how. Okay. It's the day I became unstoppable in Live Good. We did launch the Great Disruption last week. It has 7.4 thousand views, thanks to all of you who are sharing that. But today, I want to disrupt you. I want to help you. I'm a psychologist. I'm going to disrupt your mindset so that you can deal with any negative thought that ever comes to your brain in the future. That's a big promise. I'm going to help you disrupt your leadership. I'm going to help you disrupt how you think about success and its possibility for you in live good. So are we ready? We're ready. Okay. You know how when you're getting ready to run a race, which is what we're doing here, we're, we're running the race that is set before us. We hear ready, set, go. Well, I'm going to disrupt that whole thing. And we're going to, we're going to live in opposite land. And I'm going to show you, we're not getting ready. We're not getting set to go. We're going to go. And that's going to help us have the mindset and be ready to achieve and receive all the success that's waiting for us. Okay. So instead of ready, set, go, we're going to go set ready. Okay. The first thing I want to challenge you to do is I want you to make a decision today. I'll tell you a quick story. So you're literally, you've all heard you're one decision away. But you, it does not have to be difficult to decide that today's the day you become unstoppable, okay? So I was training for a fitness competition a couple of years ago. I used to compete in those little string bikinis. I, you know, I don't know. I just wanted to stop eating Oreos. But eventually I ended up competing and I ended up doing pretty well. But um, I was lifting weights and my trainer said, Aaron, why is your best rep, your last rep? And I was like, I don't know. And I didn't know that wasn't a, that was a bad thing. I didn't know that wasn't the way it was supposed to be. And he goes, well, it's not supposed to work that way. Your last rep should be your worst rep because you're fatigued. He goes, so why is your last rep your best rep? And I said, well, cause I decide. And he looked at me and he said, decide sooner. I want you to decide sooner what you're going to create here at Live Good. And I want you to decide sooner that this will be successful for you. And I'm going to show you how you can really claim that truth over your life. But you need to make the decision. No one can do that for you. But here's what I want you to do. I want you to decide once. And I want you to tell your brain, I'm only deciding this once. And I'm going to revisit my decision one year from now, two years from now, some of us need to have a much bigger context for our success. And what I mean about that, what I mean by that is some of us have this small, tiny little context of, is it working? You know how the kids in the back seat are there? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? We're doing that with our own success, right? Derek, you're laughing. We're doing that. We're like, are we there yet? I posted. Are we there yet? Are we, are we successful yet? Is this working yet? Is it working yet? Is it working yet? 
No. What if we all made a pact, all 510 of us here today, and we said, we're not revisiting this until August 26, 2024. We're not going to ask, is it working yet? We're not going to ask, does this work? We're not going to ask, are we there yet? We are going to say, I'm not asking that question again until next year. The reason why is when your context is so little, like one post away from failure, you are so susceptible to failure. You are so susceptible to saying, no, I'm just going to quit or it's not working. No, we need a big context for your big dream and your big legacy. And what also happens is you get decision fatigue. And what I mean by decision fatigue is every day you're like, is it working? Is it not? Is this, is it, am I good? Am I not good? Is it? And no, just stop. You are not re-evaluating this until one year from now. And you can say to yourself, it's going to work because I'm going to work it. It's going to work because I'm going to work it. It works because I say it works. It works because I say it works. Okay, so the first thing we need, we need to decide that we're going to run the race. Okay, like that's the first thing. So have we all decided? Put I have decided in the chat. Yeah, it's going to work because I'm going to work it. These things work when you work it. It's inevitable. It's the laws of success. It's the laws of the universe. You are not more powerful than the laws of the universe. I'm sorry to tell you. <laughs> success is inevitable if you do what we do here. Okay. Now, open up your chat rooms and let me know if you've ever been brokenhearted by this industry, if you've ever been let down and write me too, if you have. So have you ever said to a company, I'm going to do my part. I'm going to do what I said I'm going to do. And then you were let down. Look at, look at all those people that have been let down. Has it broken your heart? Have you gone to therapy over this industry like I have? Have you gone to multiple therapists like I have? Have you cried yourself to sleep every month end? Have you told your children, I'm going to earn the trip and you never earned the trip? Like say me too, if that's the case. Okay. Have you, have you said, this is the one, I, this, this is the last one, but this is the one, okay? Been there, done that, bought all the t-shirts, my friends, bought all the t-shirts, okay? 93 days ago, we joined Live Good. About 110 days ago, I had quit the industry. Done, nada. That was the second time I had quit. This industry had broken my heart. It had broken my relationships. Okay. And I was okay. And I said to God, I, wow, I really, at 10 years and like nine companies later, we had one success, but the rest was a mess. Oh my gosh. But I, I was on a walk with our daughter, Grace. She's 21 and she's one of the smartest people I know. And I'm crying and she's seen me. She has seen me cry over this industry. And she said, mom, don't you think if it worked, it would have worked by now? I was like, oh my gosh, she's seen my work ethic. She knows I'm a smart woman. She's seen me leave the house eight nights a week to you know, eight nights a month, sorry, to build this business. She's seen me go to every call. She has seen me, you know, make the thermometer on the, on the refrigerator. We're going to earn the trip. We're going to earn the trip. And I said, you're right. And I, I, I resolved with God. I guess it's not going to work. I, and I, okay, I guess it's not going to work. Been there, done that, okay? When I saw this video, I joined immediately. But you've got to understand we're disrupting everything. So we have to disrupt your mindset around this as well. And I am going to tell you today we are going to adopt a whole new mindset that this can be the easiest, most fun build you've ever done in this industry. And if you don't know how to reckon with that in your mindset, it's going to throw you for a loop because we have been accustomed to struggle, pushing the boulder uphill, grit, grind, hustle. You just need to be patient. You just need to stay in the game for seven years. And then maybe you'll see you're just not working hard enough. We've been told all of those things because there was no way to make sense of why we weren't having success. 
But I am here to tell you that easy does not mean sleazy. Easy means mastery. And Ben and Nodder have mastered the game. We no longer have to go looking for the world's greatest recipe of brownies. They have said, I have made the world's greatest brownies and they're on a silver platter and I am giving them to you. Who wants the brownies? Who wants the brownies? But we have got to receive the brownies. We have got to receive the brownies and say, I'm going to go share the brownies with as many people as I can. They change the model so that it it is easy because it's mastery. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. If you have any negative thought ever, ever, ever in the history of the future around your success around because that's that's going to happen. It just is. Okay, it's just going to happen. So I'm going to throw at you a technique that I call bless and release. And it is literally 40 years of psychology all in four steps. So here we go. I want you to take any negative thought you might have or, oh my God, is this really, do I really think it's going to work for me this time? Or what, what are people going to think of me? This is my 12th company or really they're going to laugh at me or, oh my gosh, is it, is it really, you know, whatever. Insert that thought. Just It's going to come at some point because you're human. You're human. You're going to do four things with it. So here's how you're going to disrupt your mindset from here on out, and you will be unstoppable. The first thing you're going to do, step one, is you're going to observe the thought. You're going to be like a newscaster. You're going to be like, oh, I'm having the thought that this will never work. Okay, you just observe the thought. There she goes again, having the thought that she's gonna be looking like a fool. She is gonna fail again. She, there she goes, having the thought again that she is, this is nonsense, whatever, okay? Just observe it. Number one, observe the thought. Step two, I want you to validate the thought and this is how you're gonna do it. There's a lot of psychology to this. And if you don't know how to reckon with your thoughts, you're not going to be unstoppable, okay? The second step is validate your thought. This is what you're going to say. It makes perfect sense I'm thinking this because, okay, it makes perfect sense I'm thinking I'll never be a millionaire because I've never even gotten close to being a millionaire. Like, it makes perfect sense. I think I'm going to fail because I have failed at my past, past four attempts. It makes perfect sense that I care what others think about me because I am a human that is paying attention and I care what people think about. It looks perfect. It makes perfect sense. I don't want to look like a fool because that's painful. It makes perfect sense. Like just validate. We're not going to cancel, cancel, delete, delete all your negative thoughts. That doesn't work. We're not going to say, just think positive. We only have room for positive thinking. That doesn't work. Everybody, you've got to validate the thought. It makes perfect sense. I'm having this thought and here's where it gets good. Step three you're going to thank your brain for trying to protect you. Okay, so here's what our brains do. I'm telling you this because businesses are won or lost in the six inches between your ears. Can I get an amen on a Saturday? You know this. Businesses are won or lost in the six inches between your ears. I love you guys. Amen, amen, amen. Okay, you know this. Third, third step, thank your brain. So let's roll back for a second and talk about what our brains are there to do. Our brains are there to protect us, to collect all the data that we've ever experienced in our life and say, okay, compute, compute all the data. So thank you brain for trying to pr protect me from failing again. Thank you brain for trying to protect me from wasting my time. Thank you brain for trying to protect me from looking like a fool. Thank you brain for trying to protect me from being rejected by my friends. Thank you brain. Thank you. You're doing a great job of what brains do. And then here's your last move. The fourth step is your power move. I call it the power of the pivot. Pivot. This is where you're going to choose something new. So see, you're just validating what just happened, and now you're choosing something new. So we can say here at Live Good, we can say, but that was before we totally changed the new model. Or I don't care if I'm rejected, my dreams are worth it. Or I'm stronger now. Or I have more skills and support than I used to. Things have changed. I got this. Or I've seen too many ex examples of success that I just know that it's possible. I have 
the burden of proof is, is there. I have proof. The power of the pivot. Here's what I want you to understand. The disruption in your mind is going to come from this concept. I want you to move from the land of probability. Your brain's job is to say, what's probable? What's probable? Let me say, you've never got had success before. That's not very probable. And I want you to move to, I don't need probable. I just need possible. This is how you stretch your mindset and you, you change it and you grow new neural pathways and you literally change your brain. Just like Tim said, we all have a day one. And I said, okay, what do I need to do? I need to go enroll a hundred people and a thousand on the team in the next 90 days. Here's the deal. The brain loves to be addicted to the how, but how, how's that going to, how, how? That's not your job. Your job is to do the actions. Ready, set, go. You're going to go. You're going to start with go. You're going to do the actions. The how is a co-creation. There are people that are going to join your business. You don't know who's joining. You don't have, there, there is a God and you are not it. You are not in charge of the universe, but you are in charge of your actions. So you are going to go. And here's what we know psychologically. Behaving will change your thinking more than trying to change your thinking will change your behaving. Let me put it a different way. You're going to behave your way into different thinking instead of trying to think your way into different behaving. We are not going to build your live good business on the couch with your thinking. We're not doing that. You're going to build your live good business with your behaviors. And over time, your behaviors will give you feedback that, oh my gosh, I'm doing kind of great. Oh my gosh, I'm getting more confident. Hey, I wasn't half bad when I prospected that person. Hey, this is really fun. Oh my gosh, I am a resourceful woman. I am a resourceful man that can figure this out. You're going to learn this as you behave your way into different thinking. I want you all to open up your chat room and, and say the one word that would describe the kind of live good affiliate you want to be. What's one word that would describe the kind of live good affiliate you want to be? Ooh, dynamic successful. How do you want to be confident, giving, helpful, powerful, on fire, proud, educational, compassionate, generous? Oof, oof, oof. Okay. Okay. Take your word. And we're going to invite Captain Obvious into the Zoom room here. It's going to seem so silly to you when I say it, but it's okay. Take your word. Ask yourself, well, how do I be that? Well, how do I be successful? How do I be kind? How do I be educational? How do I be influential? How do I be, how do I be? You go and be that way. If you, if I said, Pastor E, how do you become a great tennis player? He would say, I think you play tennis, right? It is no different. If you want to be unstoppable, you go and behave as if you are an unstoppable person. You do what an unstoppable person does. If you want to be consistent, you go and be consistent. You are going to behave your way to your success. And remember, you've already decided, so we don't even need to worry about your mindset. You need to do it, and it will change your thinking. And now you have the strategy to deal with any negative thought you've ever had. So now you're equipped to be unstoppable. The last thing I want to talk about is we're going to disrupt your understanding of leadership and we're going to disrupt your leadership of yourself. The greatest leadership coach in the world, John Maxwell, he says leaders, you know, leaders do three things. Leaders teach people how to think about things. Leaders challenge others to grow and leaders role model the way leaders challenge people how to they teach people how to think about things they challenge people to grow and they role model the way okay let's back this leadership bus up how do you lead others you have to lead yourself first 
I'm going to show you how to lead yourself and disrupt that relationship with your own self-leadership so that you can become the person that does what you say you're going to do. Who would like that? Who would like ultimate confidence in themselves to be like, I, I got my back. I keep the promises I make to myself. I got my back. I can count on me. I can count on me. Okay. Okay. So there's this saying that a leader without any followers is just someone out taking a walk. And I actually think that's wrong. I think that's exactly where leadership begins. You have to start by leading yourself. So this is how you're going to do it. I'm going to give you the equation. Ready? Okay. These are three, three words. Alignment plus embodiment equals leadership. Alignment plus embodiment equals leadership. What the heck do I mean? Let's start with alignment. In order to trust yourself, to keep the promises you make to yourself, you're going to need to be aligned with your highest self, your values, your goals, your mission, your higher power, your purpose on the planet. You're going to need to be aligned with the person you say you want to be, the person you, what you say you want to do, alignment. So we've got to figure out, and you've already asked yourself, what, what, it, what does that look like? Find some other words that describe you being your highest self and then do and get in alignment with that. Okay. So we have to know what we're aligning to. This is a really great super way to supercharge alignment. I want you to Think about your big mission. My mission is to set the captives free. Easiest way to find your mission, by the way, is to ask what breaks your heart. Because God has put something on your heart that breaks your heart in a way that doesn't break my heart, but it breaks my heart in a way it doesn't break your heart. And we all have different missions. Maybe your mission is to leave a legacy of joy because your family did not have joy. Maybe your mission is to help the animals of the earth. Maybe your mission, do you see, it's not a goal, it's a mission. And when you know your mission, your mission is going to pull you, okay? So you've got to align to your mission. So I know one of, my, one of my missions, of course, is to set the captives free. And when I set enough captives free, Garth and I will be living in a house in Cabo. This is our dream, and that's how we get there. We set enough captives free, okay? So this is what I want you to do. I want you to run all of your decisions by your mission first. And it goes like this. Does this get me closer to that? Does this get me closer to Cabo? Does this get me closer to Cabo? I want you to run everything by your dreams first. Is that a yes or a no? Is what I'm doing in Live Good getting me closer to it or not? Okay. Ask yourself, what are the income producing activities and behaviors that we do in Live Good? It's one thing. We share the tour. This is all we do. You've got to embrace the disruptive concept that this is easy. This is simple. I have not done any secret, secret things to go platinum in 90 days. Nothing. I have shared the tour. And I will keep sharing the tour. Because we know what happens. The numbers are the numbers. We know that 80% of people that see that are like, yes, please. And then once they come in, like 96% of them stay. Yes, please. It's very simple. Okay. So we're going to align to our mission. We're going to align to our metric of what that would look like. And we're going to run all of our, de our decisions by our dreams first. And we're going to say, if I were being, you know, a successful affiliate, would I do this? How would I show up? Would, how would I show up on a Zoom call? How would, would I have energy? Would I have generous levels of energy? Do you know you're in the, and you, do you know you're in the business of contagious enthusiasm? You're going to need energy to build, you're going to need energy to build this to diamond. 
We are in the we are in the business of contagious enthusiasm. So get healthy. You're going to need energy. You're going to need to love the people. You're going to need to see the people. Okay, I digress. Alignment. We're going to align to all these things. And then embodiment. What the heck does that mean? Embodiment means I take a thought and then I move. Embodiment just means I take the actions. Embodiment means I take aligned actions. That is how you lead yourself. Then think about leadership for others. You teach people how to think about things. That's the great disruption. You're teaching people. Have you ever noticed? Have you ever thought about this? Imagine this. Those are great statements to teach people how to think about things. Did you know that the average product only costs eight to twelve dollars oh my gosh and then this happens and this happens did you know imagine you didn't have to sell products you could just share how to save money imagine did you know teach people how to think about things teach teach people how to think about what we're doing here do you know this is one of the first times maybe in the history of network marketing where our value proposition the the unique value add to the marketplace is we we help people save money on premium products like that's never been done. You had to like sell the product. My product's better than your product. Teach people how to think about things. I just get to go around and save people money. Like that's, that's amazing. And then I get to help people make money if they want to make money. That's amazing. That's all we do as I share with people how to save money on products and how to make money if you want to do the same. It's, that's all we do. Okay. You got to teach people how to think about live good. Okay, so good. Think about leadership of others. You've got to challenge others to grow. That's what great leaders do. We're challenging you. Make a decision today. You're not revisiting it until next August 26th. And you say, how's this, how's this live good gig going? Have I been in alignment? Have I lived in alignment? And then last, are you role modeling the way? You go first. Tim went first. You go first. We all go first. We all start at zero. We all go first. Tim didn't have proof of concept. He knew, because he's a smart businessman, that success was inevitable. We got proof of concept. So we have no excuse. Okay, so we covered a lot. We've disrupted our mindset. We've disrupted our decision-making. We only need to decide once. You've made a decision. We've disrupted the way you're going to lead yourself by figuring out who is your highest self and what does that person do. And then you're going to get busy doing what that person does. And you're going to keep the mission on the dashboard of your brain. You are going to revisit your mission every day of your life. You're going to tell people in your life your mission. If if JR woke me up at 2 a.m. and he's like, what's your mission? I'd be like, to set the captives free. If JR asked my best friend, what's Dr. Aaron's mission? She would say, set the captives free. Share your mission. I'm on mission to help 30 people get healthy this month. Do you want to be one of them? And do it in an affordable way. I can save you hundreds of dollars. Like share your mission with people. I'm on mission. I'm on mission to help people. I'm on mission. Do you want me? Would you like me to help you? I would, I'm would. i just looking for people who are looking for me. That's all sales is. I'm looking for people who are looking for me. I've got a plate of the world's greatest brownies. Do you like brownies? No? Okay, no problem. Do you like brownies? Great. Have you been looking for the world's greatest brownies? You have, me too, I've got them. Here they are. You're just looking for people who are looking for you. Oh, Mark, that's so sweet, best train. Okay, I'm gonna leave you with a quote from one of my mentors who said this on a call, uh, Ed Milet. We all love Ed Milet, don't we? And if you don't, you need to follow Ed Milet. Okay. And I'm gonna say this, um, and I wanna give a context before I share the quote. It's going to be talking about if you do the right thing enough, you're going to get, you know, results. I want you to understand the right thing in Live Good is share the tour. Okay, so I want I want you to put that in your brain as I share this quote. The right thing is sharing the tour. 
Got it? Okay, so I'm going to read this quote. Just sit back and listen. Nothing you do results in nothing. Everything you do results in something. The more you do something, the better the chance is you do the right thing. And once you learn how to repeatedly do the right thing, that's when you'll have everything. I'll say it one more time. Nothing you do results in nothing. Everything you do results in something. The more you do something, the better the chance is you do the right thing. And once you learn how to repeatedly do the right thing, that's when you'll have everything. I wish you everything you wish for yourselves, Live Good Family. Everything. You decided today. Let's go. Thank you, Tim. Thank you, everybody, so much.